Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Nine Witches Family Disruption. So in the last episode we learned that the German division of Cult 55 had unleashed an ancient curse on the, wo on the world here in Norway. And then the Prime Minister himself, who yes, was Winston Churchill by the way, I checked. He was the Prime Minister of United Kingdom from 1940 to 1945. Although they didn't mention him by name in this game, but anyway, the Prime Minister had tasked us, our protagonist, uh, to stop it. And now our mission is to infiltrate into the into the German occupied Sunday, the town of Sunday. And now we are supposed to ask and, and now we are supposed to answer these guards security questions. And yeah, without further ado, let's check the numbers of the pass uh, on the passports here. All right, so I'm not going to write this down, not yet. I try to memorize this. So I got the so last so in the last episode, I got the first uh, question right, by pure luck. It was nine. I don't know if the guard is going to ask the exact same questions every single time, but let's go with that assumption for now. So nine was the correct answer to the first one. And uh, I might really have to write this down. And you know what, there's so many numbers that, yeah, maybe I should, you know, just in case. All right. I'm going to write this down real quick. So the first is three eight nine five zero zero eight six that's Krakowicz's uh, passport fake passport Krakowicz and uh, then five oh eight eight nine nine seven one and that's what was what was our Japanese guy's name it was close to Akira Kurosawa Kakagawa I don't remember but anyway we got we got those so let's try this again. Oh, I have to still get to use the controls. This game would feel better with a controller, I'm sure. All right, so. Oh yeah, these keys. I would like your papers, please. Oh yeah, we have to give them the papers, uh, the passports. Oh, not, not examine, give. Tell me, what is the second digit of your passport number? You mean mine? Okay, that was nine, I believe. Or was it? Uh, I guess he is not asking the same question from last time. Well, anyway, so second of our passport number, that's zero. Zero. That is correct, Mr. Gunther. Now tell me, what is the sixth digit of Mr. Celluloid's passport number? Sixth digit, let's see. That's also zero. Zero. That is correct, Mr. Gunther. No more questions. There is no doubt that you that you are who you say you are. Oh yes, definitely. Definitely. I guess you are going to the Eclipse Fest, right? That's the plan. How did you know? The elegance of your suit says it all. Thank you very much, officer. You will need a permit signed by Captain Sauerkraut to access the Occult 55 sector. <laughs> Sauerkraut. Uh, that's uh, that's the sausage, I believe. Uh, sa sour sausage. Sauerkraut. Noted. You will have to announce yourselves personally with the captain. The checkpoint phone no longer works. What a pity. Why didn't Mr. Vaughn's celluloid get out of the car? Ah, because his hemorrhoids were inflamed. I recommend taking warm water uh, sits baths. What the? Aven Avenging mime. Long live the resistance. Why is there a mime here in the northern parts of Norway? <laughs> Maybe he's actually part of the French uh, resistance and he somehow got lost here in Norway, I don't know. Oh my god! What the hell was that? He's a rebel who calls himself the Avenging Mime. Damn son of a bitch. Did I pronounce his name wrong the first time, by the way? Did I say Avenging? I hope I did. Better keep going, it's not safe to be here with that crazy person walking around. Alright, let's go.
Oh. Is it a UFO? Someone called the X-Files. Looking at the sky, there is the dark moon. Uh, it's Akira, okay. Why didn't we see it before? Ek uh, execra what the hell is that word? Uh, execration maledicta congressit in situ. What is that, Latin? Oh, I was right. In Latin it means evil paranormal activity with limited scope. It is only visible within a certain area. Hmm, interesting. I would like to have a ha I would like to have half of half of half of half of half of half of your knowledge, Professor. There is no time for praise, Akira. Time is short. We have to contact the resistance and get permission to go to the festival. Alright, notebook updated. Let's check it out. Uh, so, we have managed to ambush Otto von Celluloid's car and infiltrate into Sunday. So now we must infiltrate into the Eclipse Fest. Ask the, ask the child violinist to play a very, very special song to attract the attention of the resistance and obtain the permit signed by Sauerkraut to enter the Occult 55 sector. Alright, well let's try to look for the captain. Oh, I still have to get used to the damn controls. I have to move with the with WASD keys and then interact with my inventory like this with my uh, arrow keys. Town. It's the center of the town. Okay. Does this... Okay, we can en enter it. Well, that's gruesome. Hanged man. The sign says, Looting will be punished by death. And a sign. Hmm? What was that? The music. I suddenly... Well, never mind. Whatever. Notice. Any suspicious attitude or immoral behavior will be punishable by death or something even worse. What could possibly be worse? Signed. Captain Wolfram Amadeus Sauerkraut. Okay, so that's the guy whom we have to go and talk to. Maybe this guy can help us. A German soldier. With a German shepherd, apparently. You are invited to the Eclipse Fest, right? Of course. Your suits are masterly ele elegant. Thank you very much, soldier. Okay, he was he was of no help. Hmm, a can. It's a can with a sign that says, Philip, the little violinist, leave your donation here. Okay, so this is... If you're making a donation, I suggest waiting for the boy to return. He left in a hurry a few minutes ago. Yeah, he's the boy who, who we need to talk to and ask him to play the very, very special song. He had a, let's say, gastric emergency. Thanks for the information. Gastric emergency. Does that, does that mean that he went to the toilet? Alright. What is this? A shop? It's a wooden door. Well, yes, but there's a sign on the door. It says, I'll be right back. Well, okay. General store. Okay, so it is a store. Oh, hey, a kitty. A little kid. These buildings don't look interesting at all. Why, hello there. Now I know that... Now I know what David felt when he faced Goliath. Let's talk to him. We're looking for Captain Sauerkraut. We are from the Ministry of Propaganda. We came for the Eclipse Fest. I am Herm I am Herman, Captain Sauerkraut's personal guard. Pleased to meet you. We came we came to get a permit to enter the festival area. The captain ordered not to be disturbed. He is he is very well uh, accompanied. I mean, very occupied. We are going to miss the festival. Sorry, gentlemen. Orders are orders. Try calling him on the phone. But the phone doesn't work. What's the number? Well, maybe there's a working phone here. I don't remember. Of course you don't. But then again, who, who remembers their own phone numbers these days? Well, maybe you can remember your own phone number, but that's really it. I don't remember anyone else's phone number. I am his personal guard, not his secretary. 
Well, you would think that it's still important to know his number if you're his personal guard. Well, whatever. Do you like to... Do you like... Do you like to paint your lips? It's not lipstick. Oh. I love blackberries. Mm-hmm. Why do you ask? Ah, uh, for nothing. So what happened to your eye? My brother took it from me when we were kids. Oh. You played very roughly? Maybe? How terrible. Lundgren was always bloodthirsty. Lundgren. Sounds like a, sounds like a Swedish name to me. For good reason, he is the personal custodian of General von Darka. Okay. What an honor. General von Darka is highly respected in Berlin. Thanks for the information. Okay, anything interesting here? No. So I guess we can't open this door. You can't go in there. My apologies. Yeah, we have to call him. Villager. He is somewhat he is a somewhat dirty looking local. Hello. Ha ha What is so funny? Oh yeah, he was that he was that he was that little guy we saw in the cutscene when the curse was unleashed. That crazy guy. Oh hey, kitty cat. It's a kitty. Indeed it is. Doesn't like to be pet apparently. Poster? Hmm. Eclip Eclipse Fest. Hmm, how hip. The poster says Eclipse Fest. General Friedrich von Darka awaits you to share an unforgettable evening. Drinks, food and the eccentric music of DJ Kaiser. Did they have DJs back in those days? Nah, there was no way. DJ Kaiser, okay. Guests to sign up at the Eastern Bridge. Okay. Oh, that's a clown. Did you, did you come to live up the festival? No, I came I came to take a urine sample. <laughs> uh Okay. How fun. I love clowns. Hmm, okay. <laughs> that was random. The Aryan Barrel Brewery. It's the door of the brewery. Okay, can we enter in? Okay. Looks like a nice place. If you ignore this guy who is covered in his covered in his own vomit. And the overall poor condition of the place. But anyway. Mm, Flammer pouch for the eight. What is this? A vending machine? Flam Flammen pouch for the eight, even. It says Turn anti-fascist books into rewards. Uh, f okay. It won't work unless I insert an anti-fascist book. What a fiendish invention. Uh, invention, even. <clears throat> Excuse me. What a fiendish invention. Alright. Is this guy even alive? German officer? A German officer with vomit all over. I don't want to do that. I talk to him. Yeah, I wouldn't want to talk to him either. Poster? Yeah, it's the same. Okay. The poster says Eclipse Fest. Yeah, we already know that. Record player. I always dreamed of having one of these devices. It sounds very good. Josef. Seems important character since he's named. A somewhat uh, disheveled German officer. This Hevelet, I don't I don't know what that means. But I have an idea. That's what I call hey! dressing with glass, gentlemen. Thank you. Are you coming to the Eclipse Fest? Of course. You are hey! lucky to be invited. Have you seen Captain Sauerkraut? Who's asking? Reich Ministry of Public Enlightenment and Propaganda. Well, hey! I saw him for the last time. The last time I saw him. Understood. Then surely you saw him for the first time. The first time you saw him. Of course. Hey! How the hell did you know? Pure intuition. Returning to the previous question. Have you seen the captain? 
He ordered nine bottles of wine and locked himself in his house with a young lady. Oh. The captain really knows how to have fun. His pinches last forever. Hmm, what's been celebrated here? It's a farewell. We will soon leave this we will soon leave this damned town. I'll just miss those delicious three testicled salmon. Three testicled salmon of Okay, I didn't even know that they had testicles. How does it feel not to see the sun for so many days? I don't care as long as there's wine. The only thing that disgusts me is all those worms that the humid humidity brought. Thanks for talking. Wait, would you please tell me if my penis is inside or outside of my pants? Uh, it seemed... Well, judging from those pixels and the fact that they're all green, I assume that they... I assume that it's inside. It's inside, no doubt. Well, that... What bad... Bad luck. Because I'm pissing. Oh, Jesus. Bon appetit. Jesus Christ. We got some Ger more German officers. Meet a German officer. Yes, can we talk to him? Cheers. You are invited to the Eclipse Fest, right? That's right. I envy you, gentlemen. There's Marie. How about you? Cheers. So elegant. Thank you. More German officers. I assume that they have nothing in interesting to say. But let's try anyway. Cheers. How could you look, gentlemen? Thanks, officer. And uh, how about you? Cheers. My girlfriend would love to see me in a suit like yours. I would love to see your girlfriend. <laughs> I would love to see your girlfriend. What did you say? He said that his girlfriend would love to see you dressed in the suit he is wearing. I'm confused. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's talk to this. Uh... Oh, damn it, Marie. Hey, come here. It's the waitress, indeed it is. The soldiers have me from here to there today. You can take a table, or if you prefer, you may order something at the bar. Thank you very much, miss, but we are in a hurry. As you like, gentlemen. Alright. Let's talk to the bartender. The bartender of this dirt, dirty pigsty. Welcome to the Aryan Barrel. My name is Herbert. Let's see if I can guess. With those fine and elegant suits, you are surely going to the Eclipse Fest, right? You are very insightful. How can I help you? Hmm, quite a few questions here. How long have you... How long have you not seen the sun? For a week or so. Well, damn. Are you afraid? Afraid? No, not at all. The phenomenon is the work of the Occult the 55. According to Captain Sauerkraut, Von Tarka has everything under control. Are you sure? Interesting. We need to speak to Captain Sauerkraut. Let's see if I can guess again. Do you need the permit to access the east side? Exactly. How do you know? You're not the first guest to, to ask the same thing. Yesterday, several famous people came to town. I had the pleasure of having in front of me uh, Frank uh, Frank Furter, the town and the f uh, the clown even. Sorry, let's do that again. I had the pleasure of having in front of me Frank Furter, the clown and the famous actress Gerda von Uder. Gerda von Ud uh, Uder, <laughs> Uder. Gerda von Uder. <laughs> or let's just say Uder. How lucky! And all that aside, where does Captain Sauerkraut live? My apologies, I got distracted talking about all the show business. Captain Sauerkraut lives in the house next door. Thanks for the tip, Herbert. I think that was the one where the one-eyed one guard was. Where did you get that machine? Do you mean the uh, Flamenba Flamenbunch 48? Is it... Yeah, Flamenbunch 48. Exactly. I designed it myself. I will request an audience with the Chancellor to produce it in mass quantities. And by Chancellor they mean uh, Adolf Hitler. 
I believe. I will make a lot of money. Yeah, I'm sure. What time does the brewery close? The brewery is open all night. That is 24 hours. Yes, because the sun is not coming up anymore. Ha 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 See you later. Goodbye. Alright, well... Oh, there's a telephone here. Maybe that works. Let's see. Can we use the phone? Only if you purchase any of your, any of our telephone plans. Don't, has, don't hesitate to consult me. Well, okay. How can I help you? Tell us about... Uh, tell us about phone plans. The Aryan Barrel offers the best communication service in Sunday. Um, and, you're pro and you're probably the only ones too. And the only one. Yes, I knew it. Interesting. You can choose between the basic plan or the premium plan. Well, tell us about the basic plan first. The basic plan is the most economical. It only includes unlimited local calls. It has a monthly cost of 26 coins. Uh, doesn't say any... Doesn't specify the currency, just coins. Alright, and we only have two right now, I believe. And the premium plan? The premium plan includes unlimited calls up to a maximum distance of 400,000 kilometers. All for only 99... All for only 999 coins per month. Damn. That's what I call a premium service. It's only for those of high class. That's why Captain Sauerkraut is, the, is our only client. Mm-hmm. Well, we don't have the money for any of that, I don't think. Thanks for the information. And see you later. Okay, um... Let's see, we got only... Yeah, we got only three coins. Yeah, alright. So we need to find quite a few coins to even use the... The basic plan. And we need that to call sauerkraut. Wood burning stove. The heat of the embers is cozy. I don't want to touch that. Yeah, it's too hot. No doubt. Anything else interesting here? Piss. Oh. It's the puddle of urine left by filthy Joseph. Puff, it smells like ammonia. That smell could wake up an elephant. Hmm. You don't say. Do you really think I'm going to touch 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 it with my little hands? I need a container. Mm, yeah, I thought so. So we are going to need this piss for something. No doubt. Okay, so another villager. I don't see anything interesting. I don't want to do that. Yeah, we don't want to talk to this loser, obviously. Hmm. This leads to the cellar, I believe. It appears to be it appears to be the door of a basement. Can we open it? Uh why did we why did we want to touch the cat? The door is stuck. Yes, okay. And we can't go further further to the further further to the left. Alright, so where do we go next? Now let's go back to the the bigger map. What was that music? Alright, let's where else where else can we go? It's the center of the town, yes, but hmm, we can't go further, apparently. Alright. What's over here? A marketplace. Except that there's no one. Well next to no one. There must be some someone in that outhouse. What does this say? It says Sunday Market. Exclusive sale of three testicled salmon. Again with the salmon. Apparently there is no one here. It's a latrine, so that's what they so that's what they're called. Not much else to say. Someone's pounding from inside. Uh, are you alright? Thank you very much, sir. Oh wait, that's the violinist. The door got stuck and I couldn't get out. You are welcome. Excuse me. Alright, so now we need to go back and tell him to play that very special song. Alright, I'm making nice progress here.
All right, let's go and talk to him. Hello, boy. Hello, sirs. If you like classical music, you came to the right place. I will play your favorite piece of music for a coin. Interesting. Okay, luckily we have some coins. Hello, boy. Uh... Ah, we have to use the coin, okay. Here, take this coin, kid. Could you do me a favor and put it in the can? Yes, right, of course. Alright. A small, flat, round piece of metal used primarily as a medium of exchange. That's what Wikipedia says. Right. Well... Thanks for the coin, gentlemen. Tell me, what would you like to hear? How about happy birthday? Do you know any of the B BGs? Hmm. Could you play a very, very special piece of music? Do you know any of Benjamin Franklin? Oh, hey, an actual historic name. But let let's ask this. I mean, we have two more coins, and I'm sure I'm, and I'm sure that we can find more. Do you know any of Benjamin Franklin? Hmm, I don't know any. Okay, well, let's let's test this. How about how about BGs? I don't know those m musicians. Where are they from? I should just move. I should just move it on to the next question. Happy birthday. Sorry, I, sorry, I only play ca classical music. Could you could you play a very very special piece of music? One, two, three. What a weird way to play the guitar, right? That's that's not a guitar. It's a violin. I'll explain later. Okay. He's a local, yes. Gentlemen, I see that you like good music. That's right. My name is Olaf. I work for the resistance. We were waiting for you. This place is infested with Germans. The walls are listening. Meet me at the viewpoint. There we can talk at ease. Now where is that viewpoint? Noted. Oh, I guess we are going there ourselves. Or not. Meanwhile... Dr. Handloser, the latest settings for the Machine and 571 are already, Herr Commander. Excellent news, Dr. Handloser. Give the prison... Give the prisoners double rations of bread. Oh, isn't that... Generous of you. Yeah, yeah give the... Give the prisoners double rations of bread. After eight months of hard work, they deserve a reward. Yeah. At your service, General. Any news on the guest... Uh, con con contingent? Con contingent? I don't know that word, sorry. The plane left from Berlin half an hour ago. Did they load the masculine uh, intimate creams I ordered? Masculine intimate creams? What is that? Affirmative, Herr Commander. I'm thinking of courting the beautiful actress Gerda von Uder. Mm -hmm. I want to prove to that I want to I want to prove to that beauty that I am a great Aryan stallion. Yeah, good luck with that. Did the catering arrive? Affirmative, Herr Commander. A thousand pigeon sandwiches stuffed with nuts as ordered. Okay. Did they leave any discount coupons? None at all. How stingy of them. Well, it's the war, it's tough times. It will be an unforgettable party. Alright, so now... Um... Uh, no, no, no. I meant, mean, uh... Examine this. Uh, meet Olaf at the viewpoint. I don't know what that viewpoint is. Is it here in town? Like all the way up over here? Or, 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 or we have to leave the town? I think that we have to leave the town. Yeah, we have to leave the town. Or maybe, can we go there? No, okay. Alright. Well, let's... 
Let's leave the town and go to the viewpoint, wherever that is. Okay. So, where is it? A few viewpoint. Over here, maybe? Could it be here? Viewpoint, aha, uh -huh, okay. It's them, boss. Greetings, I'm Margit Ness, leader of the Sunday Resistance. I'm Professor Alexei Krakovich, diligent student of the occult sciences. I present to you my right-hand man, Akiro Kakasawa. Konnichiwa. <coughs> Excuse me. Konnichiwa. And that means... That means good day, by the way. Kampanwa meant good evening. Thank you for responding to, to our call for help. Do you have any idea what's going on here? At the moment we only know... At the moment we only know that it's a paranormal phenomenon that's affecting Sunday. Outside the town, everything looks normal. According to the professor, it is a coitus interruptus. I would never have believed in something like that if I had not seen it with my own eyes. We need to ask you some questions. So how do we get to the place where the ritual happened? You have to go to the cliff that is on the other side of the river. The only way to get there is across the eastern bridge. We used, we used to use the old suspension bridge, but the Germans destroyed it after the ritual. Noted. Tell us about the hostages. Oh, there's hostages. Uh, hostages too? Well, I suppose all the villages are technically hostages. There were two. Old Peter was thrown, was, was thrown down the cliff after the witch refused to cooperate. Yeah, we saw him. Saw his fate. Poor Peter, he was a good man. Then they threatened to throw Schmidt, but the witch finally took pity and agreed to Von Darka's request. Yeah, I believe that we saw him earlier in town. Tell us about Schmidt. Schmidt is the most famous fisherman in Sunday. Why so famous? Because he's the only one who knows how to catch three testicled salmon. I can't with the damn salmon. Those fish, apart from being delicious, are Sunday's main and only attraction. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can see a couple of coins shining on the... Well, they're not really shining, but I see a couple of coins on the ground, by the way. Okay, never mind, they are shining. Schmidt returned to town a few months ago, after a sudden mysterious nine-year ab nine year absence. During his absence, the three testicle salmon disappeared and the tourist activity collapsed. Where can we find him? It would be nice to talk to him. Maybe he can provide a provide a clue. He has a food truck in the market area. Noted. I must warn you that since Schmidt returned to town, he's a bit, let's say, weird. Yeah, we noticed. Tell us about the witch. We had never seen her around here. Sunday is a small town. I am sure we would know her. We have to find that woman. If she caused all this trouble, surely she will know how to undo it. Noted. And who is the little one? He is my younger brother. Sorry, Marcel, I forgot to introduce you. It's not necessary, boss. The gentlemen already know me. Hmm. I don't think so. Were you at the town? Or maybe he's the violin player. Oh, he's the mime. The Avenging Mime. Ha 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 ha. Why a mime? It was our response to the German invasion. We decided to create the figure of a hero to keep the town's morale high. Since then, Olaf and I take care of intelligence tasks. Well, okay, sure, but why mime? Marcel is our field agent. Without him, we would be lost. Okay, you still didn't answer the question that why mime, but alright. Why are there so few people in town? Maybe it's just small? Sauerkraut killed many of us when he invaded. That bastard. And as if that were not enough, he also burned most of our homes. 
months later, Von Darka arrived with his damned occulted 55 division. They took all the town's strong men as prisoners and used them as slaves. We never saw them again. There are only a few women, the elderly and children remain in, remaining in town. Sauerkraut, ap sauerkraut appropriated my brewery and handed, and, handed it to, and handed it to a damned bastard named Herbert. Okay, so Herbert was not a local. Now I work for him scrubbing floors. They, conf they confused me. They confused me for a child. I was lucky they didn't they didn't take me. Very lucky indeed. Do you know what Von Darka and his occult 55 are planning? We only know that they have a strange machine that they call Machine 571. It's a giant tower that they built on the other side of the river. Hmm, we have to find out what Von Darka's plans are and what the hell that machine is for. Noted. What do you know about the Eclip Eclipse Fest? It's a party organized by the Occulty 55. Important people have been arriving in Sunday for several days. Among them, the beautiful Gerda von Adder. What a woman. Well, uh, we will have the pleasure of meeting her soon. Oh, Germans. End of the meeting, gentlemen. Oh, I almost forgot. We found this fallen object near the cliff. It seems very old. You received a locket. We didn't find a way to open it. See you later, gentlemen. Okay. Meanwhile... Any news on that rat, soldier? I assume that they're talking about the mime. We camped the area twice, Lieutenant. There are no signs of that damn mine. Yeah, I was right. Let's go for some beers. Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay, notebook updated. Let's see. Investigate the place of the ritual. Cliff. Talk to Schmidt. He has a food truck in the market area. Find the witch. Find out what the hell is the machine in 571 and discover General Von Tarka's plans. Alright. And what is this? Hmm. Move beads. Hmm. Okay, so I can move both of them. If I press the... If I press the arrow keys pointing up or down, I move the black bead, and if I press the left or right arrow keys, I move the golden one. Hmm. Alright. And then, let's pick up this coin. And this coin here. Anything else interesting here? What does this what does this say? It says from here you can appreciate the landscape's pixelation. <laughs> it's true. What beauty. What beauty indeed. Oh, god damn it. Let's switch characters and play as a Krakowicz. Except that we can't really do much with Krakowicz. He can only well, let's see if we can find anything from here. We can only use his ghost. Like this. But I didn't see anything... Uh... Oh, God damn it! Damn controls. It says from here you can appreciate the landscape's pixelation. Okay, so nothing else. Nothing else here. Okay. So we'll be using... What was his name again? Kakagawa, was it? Well, we'll be using the assistant most of the time, I believe. Oh.
ominous. Okay, um, let's look around some more. I see there's a burnt down church. We can go down here as well. Weren't they German guards here earlier? Or was that, or was that another bridge? Okay, some more houses. I assume that those pink things are pigs at that farm. That cabin. We could go to the forest. But I don't see any reason to do that. Let's check our... What's the next step that we should do? We still need... We still need to call sauerkraut. So we can get access to the Occult 50, uh, 55's uh, Eclipse Fest. And uh, I think the only thing that we can do at this uh, at this point is to go and try and find Schmidt again and try and talk to him. Okay, let's do that. Or well, let's go to him at the very least. Yeah, this must be the bridge that they talked about earlier. I don't feel like falling into the freezing water. Yeah, this is a bridge that they mentioned earlier. The the resistance. Hmm? Okay. Oh, I don't know why, but the game froze there for a second. And where does this lead us? Occult 55. Restricted area. No trespassing beyond this point. Is this where the festival is? Eclipse Fest. Yeah, I was right. Guest entrance. Space available for advertising. Hm, okay. Let's talk to this guard. Maybe he can be of help. It's the officer in charge of this checkpoint. Here ends the jurisdiction of the regular army under the command of Captain Sauerkraut. You are coming to the Eclipse Fest, right? Of course. You need a permit signed, signed by the captain to, to pass this checkpoint. Yes, officer, we are aware of that. Okay, so he's not really much of help here, after all. Well, let's leave. And then to the marketplace. There's a sign. Sunday market. Yeah, enter it. Although I don't see a truck here. There's supposed to be a food truck here. Anything in there? Excuse me. Mm. Sorry for the wait, Professor. It's that the humidity of this town gives me stomach cramps. It is better that you do it, do it in there than outside. Yes, right, of course. Yes, indeed. Oh, God damn it! I didn't want to do it again. Well... So, I don't see a truck here anywhere. And I can't go further to the, to the right. Okay. Maybe he's actually... Uh, who is that? Automobile. Okay. Just someone's automobile. Maybe he's actually back here in town. Hmm. Well, I don't see him. I don't see him. Oh, by the way, are there any coins here? I don't see any coins on the ground anywhere. <laughs> this reminds me of the pixel hunting in Thimbleweed Park. This game actually gives gives me uh, Thimbleweed Park vibes. It also it must be because of the co because the color palette is quite similar. It takes place the game takes place in the evening or during night time, just like in Thimbleweed Park. So it must be because of that. Hmm? Meanwhile, again. Oh, there he is. He flew into a very loud horn. Okay, I guess that was a sign that the shop is open. Did you hear that, Professor? 
it sounded like a Viking horn. Okay, well, let's... Well, th this place is crowded. It's great to see you around here, gentlemen. Hello, Joseph. If you see any damn coin on the floor, it's mine. Well, actually, I, I, actually, I'm seeing three coins on the floor, on the ground even. Sure, we would, we would be unable to keep someone else's money. I have to sue that damn big pocket. Okay, so all the coins that are on the ground have, have dropped down from his pockets. Good to know. Okay, so I see three coins on the ground here. Actually, make it four coins. But yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here. And in the next episode, let's pick up all these coins from the ground and not give and not give them to Joseph because we are gonna need all the money that we can find. And then, well, let's go and try and talk to Schmidt. But something tells me that we have to get rid of these German soldiers first. But we'll see. So, until next time. Thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Nine Witches Family Disruption.